I'm going to take you through a program that will help to address knee pain. If you have knee pain and it's not caused by a specific injury or diagnosis, then quite often that can be caused by an imbalance of muscles in your thigh or tight connective tissue or fascia somewhere else like the hips or even the rib cage. We're gonna go through a couple fascia stretches for the legs and a couple strengthening exercises to help rebalance the legs. When the ITB band gets tight, it pulls the muscles towards it and causes mistracking of the patella and the patella groove. And then this particular muscle, your vastus medialis, gets very weak and deconditioned. So we wanna strengthen the VMO, fascia stretch the ITB, strengthen the glutes and stretch the hips out. Starting laying down on the ground on your side, the knee that's causing you pain is going to be on top. Making your way down, feel free to grab a pillow if you like, or you can just prop yourself up here. Fascia stretching is opposite of regular stretching. Rather than lengthening to feel a stretch, we actually shorten that area. For the ITB band, that means we lift it up to shorten the tension of the ITB band from the knee to the hip. Next, we add compression by activating that area. So taking your hand on top of your knee. Next, press that knee up into your hand so you feel that lateral aspect of your thigh engage. Then movement begins by pushing the knee down as you continuously resist it up. Once you come back up without resistance, start again. This is your first position. Resist the knee up and then the hand draws the knee down. You can make variations here by bringing your knee up higher and your foot lower or your foot up higher and your knee lower and that's just going to slightly change whereabouts the ITB band is being affected. Ten of these and then making your way onto your back, staying on the same side. Feel free to have a pillow here if you'd like as well or your head can be down. Cross that leg over and open the knee away from the body. Now taking both knees up towards your chest and hands are going to reach underneath and through and grab behind the knee. We're stretching the fascia in the glutes on the leg that's crossed in front. Arms are straight so your legs are as far away from your body as you can and take a look at your hips that they're not dropped down, that they are level. Next, raise both of your legs away from you in the opposite direction. They're not going to go anywhere because you're holding them in place. Focus on the leg that's crossed over. Once you have it and feel it in your tush on that side, I'm giving you this extra squeeze, use your hands to draw both knees in towards your chest as far as you can go without pain and that you're able to maintain resistance. Start again, start out, press out, keep pressing out as your hands draw the knees in. 10 of those, bring that foot down to the ground and then take both hands back behind the knee. Now with this one, you're pressing your knee away but you're also pressing that ankle into your thigh, so you're squeezing down a little bit deeper in your tush. Keep pressing that leg away as you draw the knee across towards the opposite shoulder. Open the knee up again, straighten the arms, press it away. Once you feel it, draw the knee across towards the opposite shoulder. 10 of those, and then let it release, rolling to the side. Good, okay, so we just did Sideline ITB 10 times, bilateral piriformis 10 times, unilateral piriformis 10 times. Next, we gotta stretch those hamstrings. Those hamstrings can be a real culprit, and traditional stretching just doesn't get the job done. That stretches the muscle and often too far. Let's do the fascia stretch. Making your way onto your back again, leg is gonna go up to the sky. Hips are level, and you're gonna press down to the leg that's on the floor for support. Both hands grab behind the knee, and your arms are starting straight. Head can be up for a little bit extra resistance here. Next, I want you to resist that leg as if it's gonna go down to the ground. Squeeze your tush and your hamstring. Keep the knee in line with the same shoulder and use the strength of your arms to bring the leg in towards your chest. Good, bring it back out without resisting. Reactivate, keep resisting the way as you draw the leg in. 10 of those, and then feel free to repeat everything on the other side if you have time. Good, and then strengthening that VMO, you're gonna take the leg out straight and you're gonna hug the other knee to your chest. Flex your foot here, so you're creating a nice long line and turn your toes out to about two o'clock. 
Once you're here, press the back of the knee down so your heel pops up and you just tighten that quadricep and focus. And you can even feel it here on that medial quad. Hold it five seconds and then let it relax. If for some reason that doesn't feel good, you can also lift the whole leg up from the hip with it turned out, holding it for five seconds. Let it rest. Neither version is fine. Ten reps of that. Next, coming up to stand. I'm going to adjust my... Actually, I think I'm okay. You don't need to see my head. <laughs> Feet hip width apart. All right. 50% body weight in both legs. That's very important for our nervous system to work itself all the way down to your feet. Even pressure in both of your feet. Next, take one leg up. So we're doing a unilateral squat. The reason we're doing this is to strengthen the glutes. Make sure that your hips start by going back and the chest comes forward a little bit to counterbalance, making sure that knee does not come forward past your toes. That's super important. You should not experience any knee pain while you're doing this. Once you're here, you're going to hold it for 5 to 10 seconds until you really squeeze, 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 fire and get that glute to fire. And then press through the floor, tighten the chest as you come back up to stand. Lower it back down. Make sure that knee is behind your toes and there's no pain. Hold it, squeeze it, about five to 10 seconds, and then pressing it back up. Five times each side. All right, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to chat more about it. But key is to not experience knee pain while you're doing anything. If you feel pull or discomfort that's not painful, that's okay. All right, good luck, and let me know what you think. Bye.